What color is this leaf? Green. How about this butterfly wing? Blue. Where is it? You see, blue is a really tricky color in nature. We'll have to explore more about this. We're going to take this blue butterfly wing and grind it up. Huh, that doesn't look very blue. I don't see any blue, do you? Now let's check out this green leaf. All right, let's see what color we have now. It's green. We ground up the butterfly wing. It didn't look blue, but we ground up the green leaf. It still looked green. I have my phone on the microscope here. We're gonna zoom in further on the leaf to see what else we can find. And wow, you can still see the green really well. Check out the cool white veins between the leaves. Still lots of green there. So let's put the butterfly wing underneath the microscope and zoom on in. Check out the butterfly scales. Let's put a light on it and see if it changes. Yes, what do you notice? As I move the flashlight around, the scales capture the light at different angles. So what's happening here? We crushed up the green leaf, it kept its color because its color comes from a pigment. That's a tiny substance that can keep its color in water. However, the butterfly wing when we ground it up did not keep its color. That's because its color comes from tiny little nanostructures that bend light and reflect light off of it. That's what makes these objects turn blue. Lots of times, especially in animals, that blue comes from little nanostructures. This beetle, that's called the green beetle, is not green all the time. You shine light from different angles, you can also see blue. So what can you find in your world that's blue? Happy hunting.